on these patch notes and something I want to highlight here <laughs> it's the blue blocking they put a fix in for blue blockers so um, I did that video on how to blue block and how when you're at war you can leave guild and as a way to fix this this is called a knee jerk fix so all so all they have written down here is all characters that are leaving guild right will lose 10 alignment when they leave guild what happens when they get kicked from guild right are you automatically giving a negative 10 from someone who's kicked from guild so um you know this is a way to uh to kind of stop the what i call um blue trolling right um and that was leaving the guild so a long lasting exploit i guess it was long i mean we've been doing it for a while but but it's interesting that uh, it was a thing so anyone who's saying that it isn't a thing and you know I know people who have still lost carts and stuff crossing server so they lost four carts crossing server um, on this patch just recently and to a point where they are no longer playing uh, they lost all their stuff trying to bring it down um, let's see fix city claims um booting mechanics that were not properly what is it oh yeah okay yeah this is when you know basically when you were listed on the claim even though you do a slash stuck it would boot you basically into the water on that there um So this was kind of a problem if you have right so they fixed that so they have they've added a wooden arrow and a wooden bolt crafting recipes only wood is needed for their creation and their prime design for training purposes yeah the big cost was making arrows was really expensive needing feathers and stuff added alternative recipe for all arrow bolts okay so add alternative recipe for all arrows so you could use 10 branches instead of one billet which is nice because um that makes more sense because actually branches is what arrows would be made of not from billets this is kind of silly um and that means you can make a lot more arrows especially if you've got a bunch of oaks Let's see, client version, location, porting, string. Okay, so they're putting more information on where you're located. <laughs> Added Spanish localization. Woo, the Spanish, the Brazilians and the Spaniards are going to be happy. So supposedly fixed border crossings, right? Um, doesn't help the people who lost buckets and buckets of things of carts crashing instant battles supposedly are fixed huh fix an exploit with barter which allowed players to perform homecoming with all their inventory on them So somehow you could barter and then do a homecoming and keep your inventory. So that was probably a way people were moving goods around. Beehives now safely gather honey. Okay, that's interesting. All right so some interesting patches we'll see if they fix the lag thing i'm waiting for the game to upload as you can see here it's downloading and it's not it's not patching this little bit here so still um the game isn't patching so that's even though they've supposedly put all these fixes in on um what is what's the date of this patch 
one eleven eighteen, so this past week. Um, the first patch of the year, there's still issues. They did launch a new server, and um, you know, it's from for you know, a lot of people say, Hey, go play on the new server. Like, I'm gonna go play on the new server and re fucking build an island. Yeah, freaking forget about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna terraform another island. I'm not gonna do any more building in this game. So, this is it. That's how I feel anyway. Well, technically speaking, I've retired, so. Um, I'm playing a little bit here and there, but nothing serious. I did upgrade Freeport to the next level, so it can take 600 um, silver. I mean, 600 uh, points. So that will take a. I don't have to keep filling it every two or three days. So until I find uh, a buyer for the island, that I'm satisfied with the offer. <laughs>